I do have one question thought that you could probably use on the last 10 minutes if you want to. Um, I get this uh, feeling a lot from people when I when I talk to them. They, they, Non-Jewish people get the sense that uh, because the Jewish people are God's chosen people that God only loves the Jews and that's it. Yeah. Um, and so they'd be like for you to comment on how God views the non-Jew and more importantly, the righteous non-Jew as well. You know what I mean? So this is a very important point and it really comes up frequently. What people think chosen means... You know, I mean, what were we chosen for? We were chosen for peace, for security in our possessions. Probably no people that have consistently suffered more than the Jews. So it doesn't mean that we're a super race. The Jews really were produced. And that's what the book of Genesis is about. Book of Genesis is devoted to producing a family that would be a nation. That's what the whole book of Genesis is about. And what's the role of this family? The role of this family, the B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel, is to facilitate the redemption of the non-Jews. That in a sense, really, the whole purpose, the raison d'etre of the Jew, is clearly not that we be a people who will be selected to not suffer and no one would hate us and no one would want to destroy us. So that can't be the case. The role of the Jew is to facilitate the Gentile nation. Now, the word Gentile is not a Jewish term. It's a Gentile term. So, but the role of the Jew is to be a mamleches kaihanim v'goy kodosh, Exodus chapter 19. That's immediately for the Ten Commandments, to be a kingdom of priests and a holy nation because the whole world belongs to me. The role of the Jew is to be an or lagoyim to bring the nations of the world to the God of Israel, to be an example. And that's why Tanakh is so critical, frequently, of Jews. And Isaiah expresses such anger and rage at Jewish people, almost unrelenting, because Isaiah is saying, look, I need you to be Isaiah 49, verse 3 through 6 a light to the nations, and to restore the tribes of Jacob, which means all the lost Jews. And you are not even close. We need to get you on track, okay? And that's why the prophets are very oriented towards criticizing the Jews and the Messianic age. How do those come together? Because the prophets are saying, I need you to be here, and you're not there. So it is true that the Jewish people are chosen, but you have to ask for what? What are we chosen for? 85 years ago, one-third of the Jews were murdered. So we can't be chosen for the kind of like you're chosen to win a lottery of that sort. The Jew, the role of the Jew is to be an Orla Goyim. And how do we do it? By knocking on people's doors? No. By holding crusades? No, that's not for Jews. We don't need to do any of those things. If the Jew is committed to his Torah and raises up that light in the world, then that light will penetrate every part of the world. And just as a flame, when it's transmitted from one candle to another, does not diminish the original flame, one lit candle could kindle a unlimited number of other candles, other lamps, and it doesn't diminish from the original, right? In the same way, when the children of Israel are doing their job and are providing light to the world, it doesn't diminish from our light. You follow? And that's what the role of the Jew is. To, I'm not talking about Jews who are in Hollywood and Shmollywood. I'm not talking about that, okay? I'm not talking about those people. I'm not talking about Jews on Wall Street and Shmuel Street and all this stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the Jews who are devoted to Ashkosh Baruch Religious Jews, devout, devout Jews. If your religion is in tension with what, that means you're in the wrong place. So it's to return to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rely on Tanakh, and to be chosen means to be chosen to be a light to the nations. And therefore... Not only aren't we superior, we're only superior in that we have that kayak, that ability to do that. We're here to facilitate the non-Jew salvation. So it's just the opposite. We're, in a, using a restaurant as a metaphor, we're the waiters in a restaurant serving 
all the people, all the customers are coming in. We're here to facilitate that you have a good spiritual meal, right? So we're here for you. If you're not Jewish, we're here for you. That's the purpose. And how can we be here for you? We have to have, you know, a, a, a jet has to have special fuel. You know, a 737 can't run on the same gasoline that your Chevy runs on. They're both fuel, but it's not the same. Okay? A Jew needs special full fuel, special food, special halachas, special commandments for the Jew so that he can be a light to nations. That's what the what a Jew means. That's his job. There are many people who feel, I must be a Jew. So they convert to Judaism. You can't undo it, so we don't make it easy because we don't want people to make a mistake if they don't need it. But go to become a Ben Noah. So that's what Judaism. Jews are chosen, yes, but we are chosen to be a light to the world, to facilitate the salvation of the world. And that's why in Zechariah 8, last passage, verse 23, the Gentiles will come to you, the nations will come to you, and they will grab the shirt of a Jew. Why are they grabbing our shirt? Why don't they just say to us? They grab the shirt of a Jew because now you figured out. Many of you who are not Jewish have now figured out why. Because sometimes you go to Jews and they don't know what to do with you. And they and sometimes they may not, you know, know how to handle you. You just gotta hold their shirt and say, Nelcho imochem, that's what they're gonna say, Nelcho imochem, let us go with you, Kishamanu, Shama. We have heard that God is with you. And that's happening very, very soon. It's happening now, as we're speaking right now. 150 years ago, none of this was going on. Now it is, because we're now preparing to welcome the Mashiach should only come quickly in our time, and all nations will speak with Safa Bruro in a pure speech. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9. Thank you so much, William. If you enjoy this program, Please like and subscribe. Adon Olah, Asher Malach, B'terem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, B'chev Tzokor, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra, Ve'achare, Thank you.